This week, I went to see Ghostbusters, and I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. Now, I did try to go in this as a blank slate, not trying to compare it to the movies of the 80s. Um, if that's how you want to see this movie, expecting a rush of nostalgia, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, all good. Thanks. But if you come in looking at it as a standalone movie, you'll probably enjoy it. Hello. The story is not unique in any way. Um... To avoid spoilers, I'll just state the obvious. It's about three scientists and their new friend hunting ghosts to both prove their existence and keep the people of the city safe. It's apocalypse. That's the overall plot, and it works quite well. We don't want a panic. We don't want mass hysteria. Get out of the city! The humor does run flat sometimes. Uh, but for the most part, it is a funny movie. But remember, for most, it is a comedy and not a horror comedy like the originals. Hey, you sweaty freaks! I'm about to save you from this ghost! I did like the jokes. Sometimes I felt they came a little too often, though. But if you like Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig, you really already know what kind of humor style you're going into this with. And if you like them, you're going to enjoy it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh did you want to... Sorry, I'll let you... I'll... In my personal opinion, the... Outstanding character in this was Holtzman, played by Kate McKinnon. Holtzman. She wasn't overwritten. Her personality remained consistent throughout the entire film. She did have some of the best lines of every character. To me, that person was just completely amazing. McKinnon did a great job with that character. We got a freaking Faraday cage. Now don't get me wrong. This film does have its faults. The CGI ghosts didn't look that great. There were some scenes that looked better than others, but overall, the CGI looked bad. Don't piss off the ghost. The main villain of the story was a little one-dimensional. Their motivation throughout the whole film was... It was cliche, and in a bad way. Oh, I got something special for you! Outside of those things, it is an enjoyable movie. Not amazing, but certainly worth seeing. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off. How about that? Me? I don't want to give this a rating. I do believe it's worth seeing. I do believe it's worth spending money on. Now, whether or not you want to wait for it to come out on Redbox and, you know, only spend a dollar on it, or do like I did and actually see it in the theater, no matter what, I do think you'll have an enjoyable time. Hey. Holtzman, come on! The hat is too much, right? Is it the wig or the hat? Well, thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.